So Google just launched a brand new experimental tool called Mixboard, and honestly this one's pretty exciting. Mixboard is part of Google Labs, and it's still in beta testing. Right now it seems like it's only available in the US, so if you're outside the states, you'll need to use a VPN and connect to a US server. Once you do that, just search for Google Mixboard and click the one that says it's from Google Labs. Then hit Get Started, sign in with your Google account and you'll land on the main dashboard. This is where the fun begins. When you first open it, you'll see a blank white canvas. That's your workspace. At the bottom, there's a prompt bar where you type your ideas. And here above the prompt bar, there are even some example prompts like plan a party or imagine new ideas. They sound very exciting, but for now, we're going to skip those and make something on our own. Let's start simple. In the prompt box, type. Create some cartoon animals on plain backgrounds. Then hit go. Within a few seconds, Mixboard will generate around 15 different images. Ha ha, that's a fun set of animals. We got a koala and even a Mickey Mouse as well. You'll see all of them pop up at once. Each one is called a block. You can click any block to resize it, move it around, or delete it. If you click and hover over any image, a few buttons appear on top. Regenerate. It'll replace the image with a new one. More like this. Makes more images in that same style. Remove background. Cuts the subject out automatically. Duplicate or download. Exactly what they sound like. So, let's say I really like the koala, the fox, Mickey Mouse, squirrel, and the owl. I'll move those to one side and delete everything else. Now I'll tell Mixboard. Show me more animals in this same style. It'll study the ones I've kept and generate a few more. Honestly, the animals that I kept were in different styles. And the new images generated lean more towards the style of the fox. So I will erase the koala and Mickey Mouse with the inconsistent styles and ask to generate them in this cartoon style. That's great! Now we've got a whole matching animal crew. Here's where it gets really creative. You can select multiple images and ask Mixboard to merge them into one new image. So I'll type, put these animals together posing for a photo. After a few seconds, it gives me a brand new picture. Wow, here we have all the animals posing in one scene. The style and the faces are maintained quite consistent. That's the magic of Mixboard. You can treat your whole canvas like a sandbox for storyboards, character design, or visual exploration. Now let's get personal. You can also upload your own photo or any image you want to use as a reference. I'll drag and drop a picture of myself onto the canvas. Then in the prompt box type, put this man in some everyday life scenes. And boom! Mixboard instantly creates new photos of me doing real world things. In this one, I'm sitting at a cafe and here taking a walk outside. It even keeps the same facial structure and lighting style replicated perfectly. Now I'll try another one. Try on five different clothing styles. And it shows me in different outfits. Casual, streetwear, traditional Asian outfit, and in a jacket as well. This is great if you're a fashion designer, a character artist, or just curious to see variations for profile photos or avatars. Google Mixboard really seems to be nano banana itself, but here you can create a bulk of images at once. Let's do something totally different this time. A coffee mug design. I'll upload a simple mug that says, fueled by deadlines. Now I'll type, make five variations of this design, but change the phrase to fit different jobs or moods. Mixboard instantly spins up a set of fresh ideas. It's kind of mind-blowing that this is not just plain image editing. It has analyzed and intelligently identified the context of the image, and was spot-on replacing elements to match my request. You could take one base idea and build an entire merch collection in a single afternoon. Now, instead of holidays, let's theme our character for different music genres. I've got a mascot called Pixel Cat. I'll type... Style this character in five music genre themes. Rock, jazz, hip-hop, country, and EDM. And here we are. Mixboard has transformed my original cat. Rock Pixel Cat has a leather jacket and an electric guitar. Jazz Pixel Cat wears a coat, hat, and saxophone. Hip-hop Pixel Cat's got a gold chain and sneakers. Country Pixel Cat's in boots with a guitar. And EDM Pixel Cat's surrounded by neon lights. 
The body posture and face stay the same, but the vibe changes completely. I would say the style has slightly changed this time, but still maintaining the pixel style. That's brilliant if you run brand mascots, stickers, or animation concepts and want to adapt them to different audiences. Let's make this one more real world. Imagine you're designing a streetwear lookbook. I'll first generate individual pieces. Sneakers, a hoodie, a denim jacket, and cargo pants. Then I'll upload a city background photo instead of a model. Now I'll select everything and type, show a mannequin styled with these clothes posed in this city background. And here we go. Wow. Mixboard has composed a clean, very realistic mock-up. Perfect lighting, matching tones, and an overall street style aesthetic. It is a weird combo with a hoodie and denim jacket, but couldn't be more happy about this result. The hoodie has taken a slightly darker shade, but other than that, it looks perfect. It's ideal for fashion branding, social campaigns, or even creating your own catalog prototypes before a photo shoot. You can swap the background too, say from urban street to skate park, and instantly see how the outfit reads in a new environment. That looks great. The outfit stays the same, but the lighting and the shadows has been adjusted to the new background. Let's say you have a product to sell, a tech gadget, say a pair of earbuds. I'll upload a simple product image and type, create five lifestyle photos for this pair of earbuds. Mixboard gives me a couple scenarios of usage, but honestly, some of these are hit or miss. However, the AI has done a great job in preserving realism and color. Each one looks like a ready-to-use ad shot. And I'm sure we can easily tweak these for perfect results. And for your products, you can even say, make it look like an Apple-style commercial photo, and it refines everything. Our original image already looked very professional with clean lighting, and now AI added a shadow effect as well. That's incredibly helpful for marketers or product designers who need concept visuals fast. And that's how you can mix prompts and uploaded elements to create entire visual worlds, from product lines to characters to marketing scenes, without ever leaving the canvas. Let's go over some quick controls because they'll save you a ton of time. To zoom in or out, hold control or command and use your mouse scroll. To pan across the board, hold the space bar. Your cursor becomes a hand and you can drag around. To select multiple items, hold shift and click each image. To delete something, just hit backspace or delete on your keyboard. You can also add text blocks, change fonts and colors, or even combine text with images to make quick mock-ups or memes. So yeah, that's Google Mixboard in action. It's still early, it's still a bit buggy, but it's already another one of the most creative tools Google has released in this year. You can use it for visual brainstorming and concept art, product and fashion mock-ups, merch, design variations, scene exploration for illustrators or storytellers, or even just for fun to generate ideas for your next creative project. It's free right now, which is the best part. And because it's backed by Google's AI, the image quality and consistency are surprisingly strong. So if you're in the US, definitely give it a try. If you're not, turn on that VPN, explore Mixboard, and start experimenting. Trust me, once you start combining prompts and references, you'll lose hours playing with it. It's that good. Thanks for watching. If this helped you understand Mixboard better, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and tell me what crazy ideas you tried. And if Google adds new features or global access, I'll update you right here, and I'll see you in the next one.